So it's Saturday the 1st of August and uh, we've decided that Fee needs some fresh air so uh, we're going to head off to Tesco's in Salisbury to go and do a little bit of shopping. So uh, here's a short video to show you all of the uh, everything that we go through to go through some shopping. So uh, first off getting the wagon ready and uh, getting the wheelchair out because it lives in uh, the Sprinter called Hermes. So uh, I've got to get that out. Um, luckily that's dead easy, you've got remote controls and controls all over the place. So uh, yeah, Sisyphus is there, uh, it's got the little toolbox out of the way and uh, we'll get it get it out. Now uh, I'm not very good at driving it, uh, Fee's definitely the one. Um, so it's clipped in at the bottom um, with a, uh electronic clip, so I'll just press the red button to get that out and then a bit of spacker driving to get it out. Um, you see it's quite well made, so getting onto it, you can just thud into it. Um, yeah, get the Sisyphus out, park it up at the bottom, ready for uh, ready for Fee to come down and get into it. So, uh, she can do all this herself, because it's all on the remote control, it's all designed so she can do it all. That's a bad move, Fee. That's also a bad move. Shit, I hate it because I don't really use this while you're watching, and I know I've got to use it properly, because otherwise you'll tell me off. <laughs> ah! I'm used to doing that. that fucking crutch mark. I'm used to doing the lazy cripple hack. Which is also a very dangerous cripple hack, I agree. Ah. Uh -huh. Bonza. See the problem with this is that you've got a pan where you put everything before you move, because otherwise you're kind of stuck in that position then. On the plus side, I do get to drink my cup of tea before I go. My fringe is at that annoying stage where it's just tickling my eyelids the entire day. Oh, oh this cup of tea is like nectar, man. Yorkshire tea all the way. That it's really hard to drink it when you've got a wristlint on. <laughs> My head, one thing. Oh shit. Hello. How else? Ready to go? I am ready to go. Am I? Yes, I am. As by my sunflower lanyard. Mainly so that if I get stuck in the shelves, they can't yell at me because they'll think I need help. Well, I will need help. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, just catch me with a yawn. And if anybody's wondering, yes, I am wearing my slippers as a style choice and I'm not even sorry. <laughs> oh, that's twisted. Twisted sister. Not that my hands are shaking. <laughs> right. I bought jump because I don't know how windy it is. I love the way you've left me in the most precarious position. Oh, Dash. I forgot to make it. Press the horny mode if you don't like it. Oh, it's coming through now. Are you just going to come? You're an idiot. He's such a stupid cat. I love him, but he just tried to go the skinny way. So I love you, Dash, but you're an idiot. Hey, Bumblebee. Watch, safe. watch, watch, watch. You're going to go off the edge. No way. It's just exactly on the edge. See? I have perfected this. Did you get a wind of lavender? Quite 100% great at. 
kind of lines up with me belt, kind of. Yeah. There you go. I am connected. So you're in and I'm ready to go. Yeah, and I've got emergency sunflower lanyard just in case because sometimes when I go to shops by myself I get a bit tickled like yesterday. <laughs> Although Good Samaritans help me out 90% of the time. change of angle shouldn't be so comfortable but it is ah <sighs> ready to rock and roll mr stokes no yeah no i'm not so uh you click clap with your tongue when you get tired and uh, you've got a bit of a pattern so you, if it's one clap you're tired and you're going to got a little bit but not much yet but if it's double clap that's uh, imminent sleeping <laughs> Don't you make this sound so threatening? <laughs> I shall sleep imminently! You shall have to just accept it. Uh, yeah, I think I just... I think with my back and my ribs subluxing sort of loads at the moment, and then my shoulder, I'm having quite a rough time pain-wise. But well, I'm trying to avoid... Well, found out a little bit of bone. Yeah, some bed. of it's the bed up maybe, but I, my shoulder has been... I think it drops out a bit when I'm sleeping because I relax it. So I kind of sleep with my shoulders like that, well, like curved round. I think when I'm doing that, it's it's hurting something. I'm not sure what it's hurting, but it's hurting something. But yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Oh, so yeah, but I'm trying to avoid taking Norm if I can at the moment. Because I've been really tired and I don't want to push my luck because I feel like that's how I die, right? Yeah. On the plus side, you are medically trained and I have an inhaler, so we have optimism on our side. Yeah, and we know that with the pattern with you, when you're tired, that's when you're more likely to have um, your asthma, asthma attacks. Asthma yeah. Attack. yeah, yeah, the more tired I am, the more fucked I am. And of course, norm, if I'm really tired, then I have to get... And respiratory repressant as well. So, Most of my meds are respiratory yeah, depressants. So you've, got, you've, got to be a bit, you've got to be a bit cautious. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather not tempt my fate one way or the other. Especially because I can get really chesty because it's because my, I've got asthma as well. So um, I, I, with my asthma, there's a lot of phlegm that goes down. So I always have a bit of a chest, but it's never anything more than that because my lung capacity is really good, and all of my blow tests are really good. It's just that I get a bit of a chesty kind of phlegm on my chest. So I'm quite lucky in that sense, <clears throat> which is why I was really cavalier about it. Because before, like two, three years ago, I did I'd never had an asthma attack, not properly. I may have done when I was younger because I had panic attacks when I was out with my friends, so it might have been an asthma attack, but I don't know. So yeah, I <clears throat> I 100% was not expecting it to go the way it did because to be honest with you, with all the health problems I've got, it wasn't on the list of fucking worries. Like, it just wasn't even on the fucking list. It's just like I got diagnosed with asthma at one point and I was just like, yeah, okay, I'll just get on with it. but. Well, you've got to be careful because of the triggers of it because asthma does kill you oh no i appreciate asthma kills i just kind of feel it's that thing though isn't it it's like when you're in a car and you go no one has a car i don't have a car crash it's everyone else you have that stance and that thought process don't you it's everyone else who fucks up not me i'm special do you know what i think we should do what i think we should put some cameras in this truck and a few more lights and once a week come in here and we actually do we actually do a Carpool. series yeah of car, car carpool beach. chats yeah yeah, well, no, I'd be game on that. I don't know, let's see what, uh, let's see what, let's see what people are watching this thing. Yeah. If, uh, if they want it, stick it in the comments, because uh, I think it would be, uh, we're up for it. I'm up for it. I like a good ride somewhere. I seem to be able to sleep in very many places, but not my bedroom. <laughs> oh, that sounded kinkier than I meant. <laughs> I'll go with well, it. You're like a baby. If you go in the car, you fall asleep. Yeah, and that swinging bed as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to admit that I am a baby, and I'm happy to admit, if I was really, truly honest about it, that I'd be quite happy if we could have a swinging bed, because I'd be asleep. You'd fucking hate it. Oh, no. Oh, that's so full. I've just got it all over my boobs. My fucking <laughs> lap, you bastard. <laughs> Fuck's sake, you just literally screwed that down until it squished war out, didn't you? Yeah. You fucking dick! 
babes, you know scientifically why that's a bad idea. What is your problem? <clears throat> Fucking cold, man. I'm just grateful I'm not wearing a bralo today. <laughs> I've got water everywhere. Now it looks like I pissed myself. It looks like a window licker. Yeah, well, luckily I've got a patent top on, so, you know, only I know that I feel like I've pissed myself because I've got a cold fucking streak down my leg. You dick. I don't even have any other sense for them. Why? Why? Unnecessary. Just fucking unnecessary. Yes, I will wear your fag. See, I knew what you were going to do. Ugh. Well, hold on a minute. I've got damp fucking hands. <clears throat> hum -da -hum -da -hum. <clears throat> I'll do all this stuff. You know the lights are on all the time on this. Yeah. Like the rear ones you can turn mm. them off. The rear ones. Yeah. Well, the lights all the way around. So oh, okay. You've got three sets of lights at the front, two yeah. sets of lights at the back, and brake lights. Wait, three sets of lights. Yeah. Headlights, so they're, they're side lamps. So they put marker lights. Oh, okay. Okay, but they're built into the headlights and tail lights. Oh, okay, you're so right. It looks yeah. like there's extra yeah, yeah, lights. Yeah. So you can turn them on and off on here. Oh, okay. So they're surround lights or something they call them. But of course, so they're good in winter, but mm -hmm. don't really. But if you're driving on motorways, it's quite good. Yeah, because it gives people. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's quite clever. So they're on at the moment. locking, automatic locking. Lights. Yeah, lights. Surround lighting, which is... Oh, okay, yeah. So you can turn that on or off, turn that off. And they're off now. We've got external light. Dell switch. Delay switch. And delay switch. Set up 30 seconds. Internal light displays. Delay switch. Delay switch. So this is where you need me to check out all the abbreviated words. Mm -hmm. I'm good at so, doing that. What does that mean for the internal lights? So when you turn off, guessing it stops that. It stop. goes off after a certain time, time. So how long you want okay, to so go off? So now from. they'll stay on all the time if you leave them on. Yeah. That's what you want. <clears throat> so then. Oh man, fuck! Water everywhere, Mr. Stokes. Damp. The deep bulge, oh, it's got both of us connected. And you're, you're primary. Yeah, I'm always primary because I'm the best. No, it's because you're connected to fire. No, it's because I'm the best. Fight me. I'll prove you wrong, Mrs. I the best. Press that button. Oh, I but wondered you, what that was. But you can oh. only do it at a certain speed. If you're going too fast, it won't do it. So. Yeah. So that's quite clever. 20 though. mile an hour, so it turns it off. That's quite clever, I don't know. Because otherwise it's a distraction. <whistles> so it's good because you can't see much out of the mirror. Yeah, well, so, no, because of the fucking ramp. So I'm using the mirror to look at the uh, my phone that's filming you and you. So that's yeah. what, and then, of course, I've got, got the, the cameras at the back to be a, I wish it'd stay on all the time you. because yeah. it's just as easy to do that as it is to do that. Yeah, I know, but right? You have to use the mirrors, really, to see behind. Yeah, well, I've, I've always windows. been a mirrors kind of girl anyway. So it's got tinted windows, so that makes it. So he's got a newer one there. <clears throat> Should we rub his bushes? And his top box. And his top box. Okay, I'm game. We'll use, you will use Lily as a weapon, she's a vicious little shitbag. It's got better tyres and wheels in here as well, so I have that. That's something I'll lock. Yeah, it's give me that car. I'm not going to lie, babes, if you're robbing a car, I'm not leaving the fucking wheels. I don't know how you think you rob a car, but I rob all my wheels on. <laughs> Just saying. It's so okay that every single one I've seen has got a tow bar fit to it. I think it's probably standard. Well, there's not many cars that are no. rel relatively small will tow 2.8 tonne. No, not at all. Which is the reason I bought it. But they stopped making them in 2007. Now we're talking about a Kia Sorento. Obviously we haven't got a camera pointing outwards. So mm. why, why did they stop making them? Just new models? Yeah, no, they didn't make one, a big one like that. They, they stopped at the, they see underneath that, that's why you've got Sorento, then underneath that is the Kia, I forgot what it's called now, but it's a smaller version. Yeah, Turan? 
in uh, can't remember the name of it, it'll come to you in a second. But anyway, now that the newer model of that is made, made slightly bigger, but yeah. not as big as that. Okay. And they just go in the one. So instead of doing two 4x4s, they just do one. Okay, babes. That's quite clever. Yeah. It's sad, but I suppose it makes sense because the out cost of the yeah. out. It's not, it's not economic. Yeah, they've the got, got to sell them. Mm -hmm. I swear you put chloroform in this place. No, uh, it's bouncing around, isn't it? You just said I'm a big baby. I mean, I'm not mad. I mean, I can throw temper tantrums. I like those rails in that one, though. Oh, yeah. You see them? Yeah. The sort of fashion rails. I like those. And, and his awning as well. Yeah. Oh, that'll be why. Yeah. Grass track racing. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that. That, that, that cost a bit of money, it's his year's model, the last year's model. Well, exactly. Same spitter as this though, isn't it? And uh, I suspect that's been professionally oh, built inside. Oh fuck yeah. Looking at it, that ain't no bodge job, babes. Oh, I have to say. Oh, my hips are so sore, like crawling today. It's that kind of ache where you don't, it doesn't matter how you sit, you just feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, I get, I'm bringing you out shopping because we spent a couple of days I want to get out of the house because I spent like a week in the house when exactly. I was ill. I didn't even, the only place I went was to the doctors for fucking ECG, so it's not exactly entertaining or fun. Yeah, and of course lying on the bed sat on a bad mattress mm -hmm. for, for quite a while. So by getting you out, Sisyphus gives you the need so you, you're in the right position. So, it's, you know, although it's still hurting, no you're, you're holding push. the right position. And of course, now we've got Hermes, I can drive Hermes and you can snooze me. Yeah. Uh, but you can't snooze while going around Tesco's. No, it's alright, I'll just drive into people. No? Just me? He's going on a holiday to the south coast by the look of it. Yeah, I was just thinking that. How much do you want the car? Because the south coast is quite far. How much are we committing to this robbery? <laughs> Good to know. God, I that is. It's a manual one, right? <clears throat> I've got my eyes watering at the time. When it comes to winter, we'll have to get you on the insurance, right? Yeah. Yeah, then I can always just borrow yours if you need to borrow mine and go further. Well, I mean, to go to the doctors or something. Well, you can borrow mine if I'm sore, and if you, if I need to go to the doctors for an appointment, you can. Uh, I, exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll use until I've got that fixed one. Right, I'll just use. Uh, yeah, use that's special. Use this thing until, you, until when you need it, you shout and then. Yeah. Well, you're going out and doing stuff for me anyway, so. Yeah. But tomorrow I'm going to jack up my truck and find out which one it actually is. Yeah. Have a good look. <clears throat> See if I can find one from the breakers. Yeah, you probably will to be fair. Especially now. Mm -hmm. What's my braces making me want to pee as well? I'm just a useless fucking. Actually, I don't think I do want to pee. I think I'm just sore. Like, my hips and my kidneys are really sore. Not like bad enough to worry about kidneys, just. It feels like period pains on steroids rather than like kidney problems, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I've taken my Benefax on it as well, so. So it makes it feel weird. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it does with the Don Perdue. It just makes me feel a bit. Uh, it's the other one. Washed out and dizzy. It's the other anti emetics that make me go a bit weird. What, the cyclizine ones? Yeah, they're the ones that make me go a bit weird. make me go flick between happy and angry. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, well, the problem is, cyclizine wasn't fucking working, so I will be back on cyclizine next week. But hopefully, uh, hopefully, I will be able to fucking enjoy myself without fucking myself up. Because mm. at the moment I can't even do that, can I? Right, so this is August the 1st and it's the uh, first day of sort of lockdown for people, or out of lockdown for people who are uh, 
have been self-isolating. Yeah. The correction is why it's the time when the government stops supporting them. Yeah, end of the food parcels. Yeah. End of the assistance. End of, well, the beginning of the end of furlough. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> There's not much more they could do because the country would go bankrupt. If the country goes bankrupt or can't pay its money, then we're all fucked. Because then it loses credit rating and it was triple A star at one point starting a war. It's like a B now. But you've got to be really careful with that because that has such an influence on everything else. I'll tell you what, this road's going to be a nightmare when they um, make Salisbury pedestrianised. Yeah, it's going to be fucking hell. When it's bad enough. No now. one's going to get anywhere like, well, we'll on be time. we stuck in traffic for ages. Yeah, so we'll I'm not used to it. So I'm not frustrated chattering away. Yeah, for us to be chatting away, for me to be flaking, so I don't usually flake this fast, mind you. So for the for the uh, for the watches, that's because we're uh, going down Southampton Road in Salisbury. It's the only way to get to both Bournemouth and Tesco. So anywhere in the south of England on sort of the Southampton side, and where they've put Tesco's and all the superstores. Yeah, so it's just a fucking pain in the ass to get there. That's why I hate Tesco's. I lose the will in it. I usually go little just on principle because Tesco's fucks me over. I don't mind that, but we want a few. We want a few shopping, name brand things. We need to share. We're shopping for the month, so we need the cereals that we like. Yeah. It's quite a lot of the, uh, quite a lot of the Littles and Aldi ones. Uh, not quite right. Not quite right. Don't know what it is exactly, but it ain't quite right. Mm, no, that's wrong. Like that. <laughs> that's not fair. He's bullying me, Mr. Stokes. I won't bully you back, but he's driving, so I can't. You won't be able to drive forever. Look at the price of some of these. We're going past that. Uh, yeah, they're like 80 grand and shit. Brand, Mercedes oh. brand. Uh, 73 nice grand, car. 74 grand for a used fucking car. Well, this is where this will be going for service if we're going in there. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> I wonder if they'll be like my um, my dad when he had his company car. They used to give you like a tin of sweets and shit. Mercedes are. Yeah, they, they look after their yeah, customers. They, they, you pay the extra money for the <laughs> brand and the uh, Yeah, but it's worth service. it. Yeah. I think for what you get out of it, I think it's pretty worth it. Uh, I've got to say, this is, a, no, this is a Mercedes Sprinter. It's really nice to drive. With the automatic gearbox. I've got to say. Yeah, the gearbox is the best gearbox I've ever bloody yeah, had. These, these modern uh, modern automatic gearboxes with their computer controls. Actually, the, the early fucking ones accelerate. Were, the early ones were rubbish. That one in your Berlingo was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This one sweeps it up. I'd be really interested to find out how it coped with towing. Ah, well, yeah. I've seen ones that are automatic with tow balls, so it obviously does. Yeah, but it might just cost a bit to get one. I, yeah, I'd just be intrigued to find out what, how it coped with the gearbox and the engine. The engine's it, powerful enough. You're not going to do like my brother did. Got a drone for Christmas and decided to fly as high as he could because he thought he'd test its upper limits. And then lost it. Yeah, of course he lost it. He lost it within an hour of playing with it. It was fucking hilarious. Went to go looking for it, but almost broke his bloody ankle. Oh shit, I don't know, tell me about it. We can go the way, babes. Still got to get out. Yeah, I know we've still got to get out, but the Lavastock way will be less than fuck me. Ah. Moving already. Ah. This line is fucking ridiculous. Honest to God, it's fucking chock a block. I wish I had more money, I'd take it in there and get the same one. Yeah. Well, we will get around to it. Just need to give it to me on a good day. I am tired. I'm sorry, and I can tell I'm tired because I'm starting to slur my words slightly. Not slur my words, but not pronounce it or elucidate them. I'm very least in coming because I need a wee wee. Well, it's bad because it's not helping and supporting yet. <laughs> Park here just because it's fairly close to uh, yeah. the um, trolley park. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your thoughts. You've got a good thinking process there, Mr. Stokes. So I'm going to have to take it far to dump it. Yeah. As far forward as I can to that big beach. I'll do it. We have arrived at Tesco's. Just put our
first time I've actually gone out in Sisyphus, apart from to the van. That was a get ready and come. Ta da! It's a bit of technology, I'm not going to lie. try with the mask but if it get too dizzy I can take it out and take it off. I don't know how dizzy I'm going to get because the uh, uh, Dom Paradon makes me a bit. Let's try it. Yeah well this is it. Always it's worth participating. With your mask, why wouldn't you put it in the bin rather than just leaving it in the trolley? That's yes. kind of totally ruining the point of a mask. And I don't want to pick it up and put it in the bin like you usually would because it's too much of a risk factor. Lazy people don't be such a twat. So we're in Tesco's and uh, we're trying to get upstairs so Fee could go for a wee. And, uh, Great maneuvering. So they've got, so they've got, so they've got so they, it's pretty, it's pretty well organised. My, my voice might sound funny because of course I'm wearing a mask. Yeah. I so. shit everywhere and to get to the fucking button I've got to basically reach around. I'm yeah. lucky because I can overextend my arms and I'm long but what if someone can't reach that? Well we'll tell somebody about that in a minute. Yeah don't worry we will. And the thing is I don't even think it's a Karen thing it's just I'm not even trying to be a dick about it I'm not trying to be a Karen all I'm saying is if I'm having a bad day I can't do that so that means I can't even go shopping for milk by myself. What's the point of having a car for independence and a wheelchair for independence if you then can't be independent because someone's a twat? Oh great, the accessible toilet's out of order. Fucking special high on this side. However, it's kind of annoying. Especially as if I get tired and sore and I need something to drink, I can't even get up here very easily. Something like that has stupidly ridiculous um, Knock on consequences. What, of where a button is put. Hmm? Of where a button is placed. Yeah, where, a where you can reach a button, whether you can actually manage to reach it or not. Shells are just one of those well, shitty things in life you always seem to want the bottom or the top shell. But something like that, you need space. Why, like, why do we have to collect your floor? I want that somewhere else, for God's sake, rather than just bloody leaving it. Yeah, here. leave it in the storeroom. Well, especially if they've got footprints that go here. You bloody Please wait here. Look. Please bloody wait here. Stand here so you're fucking you're you're one meter apart. Well that's fucking helpful. What's that? I just thought if I can move this up it'll be easier to reach. Oh that's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. I had a vision that I was going to just knock myself out. Can we get another one? There's a thing on the back. No, that'll do. Fixed it. For the second chin look. You like it? And it's my handy that I was beeping and it's my um, ever so useful gossip box. It's actually for people with Parkinson's. It's called the Tab Time Super 8, but it's brilliant because you can actually divide your meds into eight times in the day to take them. And it it's got an alarm on it, so if you forget, it will leave a like, red flashing light and it'll beep for a while, so it's bloody, it's a lifesaver to me. Ah. 
Oh, put your back. Yeah, not yet. Sorry. Gladio Sorry. Live for £1.70. Oh, I've got one, I've got the Gladio Live that way and then they're not going to get run over. Right. I'm going to replace this. Yeah, and then we're going to the till. Yeah, because I'm tired now. Actually, no, I'm very tired, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm you're, you're hanging now, so it's tough. we've got to get out of there. Yeah. Hello. How are you feeling? Fucking tired. <laughs> we've done the shopping. Yeah, we're all ready to go, but we're just waiting on the queue for the rest of our life. Not losing the world to live at all. <laughs> yeah, nearly done uh, there. Yeah, I'm tired now. I'm tired, and I think because the mask makes me all warm and stuff, it makes me feel more knackered, if that makes sense. Well, let's put it this way. I definitely know that I take my inhaler these days when I go out. But even though I can choose not to wear a mask, I'll choose to if I can. Share the wealth, man. You've got, to, you've got to keep everyone happy, not just yourself. We're nearly on. Nearly time for us. Take care. How's that then, Fee? Hmm? How was that? Oh, that was tiring and oh god. That's an asthmatic, too tired. I have to say, by the time I was getting to the end of that, I was feeling a bit drunk. Because <laughs> I think I'm a bit dizzy. But I still wear my mask because I don't want to fuck other people up because I'm not a twat. Fair enough, so. Because I care. Let's take that little yeah, lot. Massive shopping to be and, and uh, I'm a bit tired. Just to get in the car. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I, well I say I'm going to help, what's really gonna happen is I'm gonna get into the car and fall asleep and it's just gonna do shit around me. Mm -hmm. So I've come to the conclusion I should have had lunch. Yeah, because if it's any, energy defense, drink, do you want another one? Yes please. In my defence, I didn't have lunch, but the reason I didn't have lunch is because I thought I'd get too tired. So... <laughs> <coughs> Tired. Yep, we're very tired. Get that chicken down, yeah, and a drink. And yeah. Then we'll just get in the wagon. Yeah, just, I don't even know how I choked on my um, nothing there, but I did. But yeah, no, I've decided that wearing breakfast is, wearing, no, having breakfast is a good idea, but the reason I didn't is because I thought I was going to get all tired and sleepy. What are you doing, Mr. Stokes? I'm holding it straight out. Eating chicken. Mm -hmm. Do you know I much, like chicken. Do you know how much effort I'm putting into this? Well, it's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, I can film you going there. I've got an armrest. Is it bad that I can actually hold it straighter? Yeah. I didn't kick your bum. One chicken thing left. Do you like it? Yeah, go on. Sorry. I was just wondering, right, because face masks are really hard to wear and stuff, so I was just wondering what kind of PPE is the best to wear when um, you want to be comfortable in it. Well, we could always build a positive pressure on, on, your, on your chair. See, that's what I'm saying, isn't it? Because that would be helpful. And I don't care if I look post-apocalyptic, because it's other people's issues if they're judging me, innit? Right now I've got to uh, load that line behind her, so I've got to step over that. You go shopping if needs be in a high risk, like in a high risk so, situation, so without risking myself. But yeah. I, not in a 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, the, the simple fact is you can't really protect against the virus. No, but I want to protect, it's more protective about myself when I'm vulnerable. When, yeah. I, when I have low immune systems or I'm having a flare up because so that's when I'm more likely to get problems. You can't from it. really do that, that's the problem. Well, no, but you can if you walk around in a fucking respirator. Yeah, you'd have to have full PPE. Yeah. That's my point, though. Gas tight suit. That's yeah. The, that's the only way to do it. I'd be okay with that. So what you got to remember, right, is as a disabled woman, I am 11.8% more likely to die from this. So what we need to do then is... So I've kind of got a vested interest, babes, well, just saying. We put you in a bag and then filter the air going into the bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, babes, do you have to fucking... <laughs> dig in my fucking... Look, it's all on my pussy, just fuck off. There's like 12 lighters there. There's one There's one in the little pocket there. Baby, follow my finger. <laughs> other one, other pocket, yeah. See? No faith. No faith! Uh. Right, are you all ready? I am ready. Gladiators, are you ready? I think the announcer guy who was on um, Gladiators, do you think he was like Glaswegian? Because I think it's a Glaswegian accent, that one. Gladiators, are you ready? That TV is really good for this. Ooh, shit bags. Mm. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Yeah, it's fucking brilliant it's like for that. Bon bonds are looking. Oh, mate, that's amazing. We should film the video of it going doing that sometimes because it's quite clever. Well, I say quite clever. I mean, fucking amazing, but. You know. That wide angle one's really good. Yeah, because you get to see everything approaching, so yeah. it just reduces the risk factor. Ah, small world. Oh, Ian's mum. Yeah, Ian's mum and uh, Colin. Yeah. And um, I met somebody from who used from work in the good old days. She's part of Enabled, I think. <coughs> I don't know, I find stuff like that really hard, like bumping into people from my old job. Why? Because I'm ashamed. Look. The way that they fucking, the way that they fucked me over, darling. They put, they, they, they orchestrated getting me into work so they could fucking, Yellow. so they could accuse me of something that they didn't even fucking fo pursue, follow through, or even actually have the data for. So everybody that I know that I worked with knows that I came in one day, I got suspended, and I never came back. Yeah. So their natural assumption is going to be I fucked up and did something. Some um, how much you got? Yeah, no, I'll get it another day, babes. Okay. But yeah, no, do you know what I mean? So there's part of me that's like, well, hold on a minute. Like, how do you want to fucking play it? Do you want, I just, it makes me feel really ashamed because everybody's going to make their own mind up about that and there's nothing I can do to change their minds and that's the only thing they know me for because I moved down here for a job that I no longer have because they couldn't be asked to fucking make, make a little bit of reasonable adjustments for. And it's reasonable that you know it's the other one. It's the, no, no, it's the that the one more. No, the only one you haven't pressed that that's one. in the middle. No, the only one you haven't pressed. The one, no, stop going the other way. That way, yeah, that one. But yeah, but yeah, no, I just I I don't know. Like I feel it. I do feel ashamed. I feel utterly ashamed because I came down here. I moved my entire life down here after university to get a fucking job, and not only did they not bother, not care, but they've 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 made between all the stresses and my body, it's now it's now virtually impossible for me to get a job. How does that affect you? Well, what purpose do you have? The reasonable purpose that everybody comes up with is you get, you grow up, well, the standard when I was a kid was you fucking, you went to school, then you went to uni, then you got your degree, then you went to work. And then you work till you retire, and then you fucking keel over or fucking enjoy yourself. And instead, I've gone from feeling like I've got a purpose to being utterly lost. And it's cruel. The way they did it was so cruel. I've never known of a policy that takes over a year and a half, two years to process properly. Yeah, from when they suspend, Never ever in my life. When you suspend it to when they... Uh... When they actually finish their fucking process. Yeah. And I've been to about five different fucking appointments in an occupational therapist and do, the only reason they sent me back to the occupational therapist is because they didn't get the answer they fucking wanted. Oh, she's too ill. You, you fucked it up. You made. You, you knew she was mentally ill. 
and instead you, you invited her back in to then suspend her and then you wonder why she's not mentally capable of going to the fucking meetings about it. You oh, broke her, what do you fucking expect? Yeah, that was pretty cruel and heartless. Yeah, it was cruel and unusual punishment is exactly what it fucking was. And do you know what? I told them several times it's cruel and unusual punishment and they didn't care. And do you know what the best bit is? The public sector, <coughs> I'll be as general as that, but the public sector and the area I worked in, they preach fucking diversity and fucking all the rest of it. And do you know what? They don't even understand what diversity fucking means. No, they said you couldn't work, couldn't work no, from No, I home. wasn't able to work from home because they didn't have the fucking technology. Every single person that's working there now works from fucking home. Every single person works from home. So what are you telling me? That you couldn't find a job where I could work from home because I was ill and I was unable to come into work every day and now everybody works from home. So what exactly was the reason I couldn't have a fucking job? Yeah. <laughs> and then the problem is because I didn't have a job, I became, uh, it wasn't good for my mental health and then when you get stressed, it's more of a trigger to your fucking flare-ups. So now even if they offered me a job, I couldn't fucking do it. That's what pisses me off, baby. Because I went from actively being able to do something and having some semblance of fucking independence. Don't get me wrong, it's not loads. <coughs> I struggled a lot, but you know what? I had independence. Now, what do I have? And instead, they all colluded to do that because they didn't know how to handle me with a replaced hip. Even though, when I went to the fucking job interview, in my wheelchair, I told them it was going to happen. But don't worry, we're all about diversity. When I first came to where I was working, I used to get my wheelchair and I used to have to get out of my wheelchair into a fucking escort car to then get out on the other side because they didn't have any wheelchair accessible fucking stuff. And I got bollocked once. I got fucking bollocked about my health and safety and got made to give a yellow card because I'd missed my fucking... Uh, the escort was supposed to pick me up. They didn't pick me up and I had a taxi waiting. So I just went down the roadway and they're like, it's really dangerous. I was like, do you know what else is dangerous? Leaving me in my fucking workplace, you twats. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I just, it, when I see somebody from work, all they know is all the rumour milk shit that's gone on because nobody's asked me. So they've already formed an opinion about me. Do you know how awkward that conversation was because they felt they had to stop because it's me but they didn't know what to say. And I fucking hate that. I hate the fact that I've moved my entire life down here and they gave me just enough time in my job to have a life to then take it all away. And I think that's fucking cruel. And I hope it's unusual punishment because if it's not, then I fucking, uh. But do you know what? It's, it, it breaks me, babes, it really does. Because it makes me, it makes me question me, myself and it makes me question what people perceive of me and it makes me question what, what's the fucking point? I just, I fucking hate it because you, you, you see all these fucking things and they preach how fucking caring and empathetic they are and all the rest of it and they don't have a fucking clue and you give them opportunities to have a clue by saying, well, I mean, the group that I was in before I fucking lost my job, I was actually helping the um, disabled employee networks support system because nobody else had actually done anything fucking with it. And that's why so many people at work still do stop and say hi to me, because I've helped them. And two years later now, they're putting a the big push on diversity and inclusion. Yeah, but do you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, they've been sued so many times. Well, don't worry, they'll and, be being sued again. And the, and the Black Lives Matter thing, of course, has changed mm -hmm. society's it's changed, it's changed. It's changed the perceptive, perceptions. You can't, you can't, you can't oppress uh, another person. And unfortunately, when it comes to minorities like disabilities and Black Lives Matter and all that kind of stuff, it's oppressing a weaker person. You cannot exert the privilege that you have is what they're seeing. I don't necessarily agree with that. I do to a degree, but not. I think I work on a meritocracy personally, but that's just me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd rather, if you're good enough for the job, then you're good enough for the fucking job. That's what matters. <clears throat> but yeah, no, it just, it's embarrassing, babe. I don't know what to say. Because you can't even explain it. How do you even fucking explain it? So then, um, if you were trying to find purpose in a wheelchair, what, what does that look like? Purpose in a wheelchair? Yeah, so you said that you finished work, obviously you got kicked out of work, and then work gave you focus and a point, a point, point of existence. Right? Yeah. So, what's my point of existence now? Yeah, well, what, I don't what, have what's the options? Well, I don't know what the options are. What do you mean what are the options of points of existence? Well, I don't know, like, I don't know. Or, uh, 
yeah, I'd love to volunteer. I just can't do it consistently. So if I had all the time and money in the world, then I'd set up a gardening group in our community. <clears throat> but then I'd also, um, I'd also set up some kind of um, support system so that you got like almost a support system for people. Do you know what I mean? Helping people out. Like everybody's in a group of people that like some people have got the skills to do stuff and some people need help and we can like marry the two together. That was what I'd love to do. Getting communities to help the communities that they live in. Like good old co-ops used to be. Yeah, like in the old days where you used to fucking... You've been, so in, in my dad, my stepdad, right? When his son, Jeffrey, bless his cotton socks, when he was ill, they used to... Um, don't worry, it's just their thing. I got it. But yeah, so when um what was I saying, sorry? Oh yeah, my stepdad. Yeah, so when my stepdad fucking his son was ill, everybody in the village used to cut like they all paired up and they all made a timetable so that they could pop in to see him because my dad was working um as a single parent and he was self employed. Whereas nowadays most Mate, I don't even know half my neighbours. No. I know that I actually do know my neighbours actually, but that's because I go out of my way to chat to them. But yeah, nobody knows anybody, do they? Nobody knows anybody at all, and it's sad because you just, if you can't... Communities, the communities ten times, it's a broken window theory, isn't it? Communities ten times better if you've got buy-in from the community. And if you've got that care, then the thing is, communities can be quite self-sufficient, and honestly, it would be a best place for everybody, but you've got to get people to buy into the process, haven't you? And the problem is that there are people that will take advantage that will do what I call the lassie effect where they start thinking, you know, digging for your sympathy so they'll take advantage of the fact that you feel bad for them. And that unfortunately, my problem is that I'm... I, I, do you know what my problem is? I'll always give one, someone a fucking chance. And do you know sometimes people don't deserve it because some people are fucking scumbags because they'll pretend that they're worse than they are. They'll pretend that they can't do stuff so they can take advantage of somebody else. And sadly, that's the fact of life. One of those fucking things, isn't it? Yeah. Dicks everywhere. Like, you know, the, the hardest thing about working is fucking adjusting to the fact that there's a load of personalities that you have no idea how to deal with. Not a fucking sausage clue. I think I've done quite well for not dropping anything until this point. Yeah, quite hard. I have my MTCV. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful people. <gasps> Lads. Oh, man, he's going to fall like a bitch in that car. I had a blue one. Me, he's gonna pull like a motherfucker. That guy's gonna have pussy till fucking Christmas. Whole different ball game when it comes to pussy wagon, huh, babes? Uh, bright orange TV. Well, yeah, it's bright orange so you can see his car and be like, oh wow! Could you check his lights? Sorry, darling. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'd love my purpose to be volunteering, even if it was just something like, you know, organising stuff and like coordinating people. And maybe have a, a gardening group and, uh, a, and a community yeah, that's group. That's the one good thing that the, the lockdown has sort of. Yeah, the, do you know what the lockdown's done? Is it solidified who's assholes and who aren't caring people. So it's solidified people caring in their community a bit more and noticing what's going on in their community a bit more. But then on the downside, it's, you know, it's polarising. There's some people that have been absolute pricks and do you know what? They've just had too much of a distraction to fully solidify how much of an arsehole they're. And then they get locked down and they just fester into the twat that they now are. Not that I have a specific person in mind. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know, I just... I find the whole thing really frustrating because I... I can only imagine the gossip that went round about me. So there's a few... Maybe like 50 people in our area, but essentially, you're all good.
no loyalty. He has the loyalty of a uh, Russian fucking KGB agent, that boy. Actually, that might be being nice to KGB agents. <laughs> So I'll make another picture of the cats. I'll make a bigger picture if you want. In fact, I'll practice making a zebra and I can make a big picture of the zebra. Yeah. And we'll I can be thinking of something. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be canvas, so. Uh -huh. And then tomorrow we're going to go to the yard. Yeah. Yes, please. Because tomorrow I'll be getting things ready. Mm -hmm. So prepping for the yard prepping today. Prepping for the next day because then on Tuesday and Wednesday I'm going to go up there and stay there uh -huh. and do all that, do the rebuild of the hall. Yeah. Uh, I need some screws. I need to go on out. Can I just say, can you recognise my skill of stopping this trolley bash it? Skill. Yeah, so I'll uh, order some screws in the minute for screw fix to turn up tomorrow. Yeah. They won't turn up in time, but they'll turn up in time for Monday. Yeah, that'll, that'll do though, won't it? Yeah. Oh, I am tired. It's nice to get out. Oh, really. Even if it's not the most fun thing in the world, it's nice to get out, I think. Well, it's fresh air and people, that's the thing. Mm. Well, it's nice to meet Ian's mum, actually. And Colin. Yeah, Colin's lovely. He seems really sweet. I like him. Yeah, he's ex-military. Mm. Yeah, no, there's two types of ex-military though, isn't there? Well, he's... He's, he's, he's adjusted to civic, civic life. Yeah. He, you get the ones that adjust to civic life and then you get the ones that just go the other way. Unfortunately. Can't cope with civilian. Yeah, can't cope with it. Well, a lot of people, if you're there, you have a very structured life, don't you? So then if you get all that structure taken away from you, some people will carry on that structure no matter what. I dated a guy, you know the guy I was saying who was in Bosnia? He used to like, he, he had a whole routine that he'd do, like he'd iron his fucking sheets and everything. And I was just like, yeah, good for you, but like that's just not happening for me, man. <laughs> I ironed the sheets once, man, it took like four hours, and there's no point, because it's a double fucking sheet, so you're just hanging down the other end anyway. So I was like, fuck this shit. Fucking, if you want to iron your fucking bed clothes, you iron your bed clothes, love, but it's not going to be me. We are home. Oof. Badly home. Time to unload. Mm -hmm. So you can do it. So you can do it yourself. I was like, how are you doing that? That's some magic shit, that is. Well, that's, yeah, I'm not going to grab anything out. You're going to grab it because I'm tired and stupid. So stupid, I'm trying to use my wheelchair. It's not coming. I'm tired. I'm, I've left there. That's right, you just get yourself in. On it like a car bonnet. She's kind of got what she's doing, but not really because she's an idiot. Oh, yeah! Speaking song. Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, yeah
See you next time.